hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you how i do my two um pigtails slash ponytails whatever you want to call them using weave this hair that i'm going to be using is like two years old and it still looks amazing it's from some type of aliexpress vendor they don't even sell it anymore so i'm very upset about that but i had like two bundles left over and i decided to make use of them so um right now i'm just separating my hair and putting water on them half of this is going to be sped up because it's very repetitive so i'm just showing you one side and then i'm gonna speed up the other side so i'm just putting water on this side of my hair and then i'm gonna use um some type of gel that is like two dollars this is the best gel so far that i've found it's two dollars and it's called um i think olive gel or something like that i'll show it in a little bit but it doesn't cake up and it lays my hair down perfectly fine without any problems the only thing that it does not do is lay my edges for a, a long time so i use eco styler for that part though so i'm speeding this up because i'm brushing my hair very aggressively and <laughs> i don't want to show you guys that part because it's self-explanatory but now i'm just braiding it up and um this side was actually lopsided so i did go back and fix that but i braided the hair after i put a ponytail on it ponytail holder on it and then I'm just going to do the same to the other side now I'm just pinning up my real hair in a ball and um my camera cut off so I didn't actually get to show you guys this part the first time that I did it but like I said, it's very repetitive, so it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be doing the same to the other side. So I'm just going to take the weave that I have and I'm going to spray it because it's been in like this Ziploc bag. So I'm just going to spray it and make sure that it's all wet and the curls are back and I'm going to... Put a bobby pin in them and start at the bottom of my real hair. I'm starting from the bottom because I feel like starting from the bottom makes it thicker at the top. Um, you'll see if you decide to do this to your hair. I've done it before starting from the top and it just feels like it's not enough hair at the top when you're done. So I feel like starting from the bottom is very better, is much better, I'm sorry. And I put one bobby pin when I'm starting out and I don't put another bobby pin in until I get to the very end. I just make sure that I'm putting it very tight when I go around. And I did this sitting down um, instead of standing up to just be in frame. Um, it'll be easier for you to like get the rough wefts around your real hair when you're doing it because you'll be able to stand up and not sit down or whatever you want to do. Now that both sides are fixed, I'm just going to brush it out, make sure that it's as thick as I want it. Um, I will say, if you want to brush it out or put water on it, do it before you put it on your hair, because then if you like pull too much, you'll pull it out of place. So, I usually don't do this part, but I'm showing you guys just in case you want to do it. Um, I'm just taking a piece from the bottom, and I'm wrapping it around the ponytail to make sure that the... Um, the weft part doesn't show and 
I like I said I usually don't do this because usually whenever I wrap the real hair the hair around my real hair it doesn't show the weft so I really don't care much about that part it's just an add-on and now I'm just doing my edges my favorite part oh yeah I forgot to mention um I don't know if you guys can, can tell, but my hairline on the sides is pushed back. I have a video about that. It's because of the got to be glue that I used um, before. And obviously this part is optional. You always you really don't have to do this part, but I love doing my edges. I think it just makes the hairstyle look sleek and much better. And yeah. So this is basically the end of this video. That is it for this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up and comment. Um if you didn't I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Give me suggestions on some videos that you want to see. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.